Hi, and welcome back to Musician's Edition Practice With Me for Flute. I'm your teacher, Risa, and today we're working in the Rue Bank Intermediate Method, looking at page 35. We are coming kind of close to the end here, aren't we? So, you know, excellent job for all we've been through. This is some tough stuff. All right, so today we're gonna be looking at double tonguing. Everything we've done so far together has been single tongue, Ta 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 ta. Now we're going to be double tonguing. Tuka 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 tuka. All right. So double tonguing is usually applied to very rapid passages only. Okay. So this is definitely something you're gonna want to practice and get down. Okay. Because like today we're gonna do this much much slower and not at tempos you would normally be double tonguing, but it takes some time to get it. So you will need to practice this several times. And there's things you can do even to practice. You don't, you don't even need your flute to practice double tonguing. You can do it when you're on the couch, watching TV or doing dishes, whatever. You can just take time to work on the double tonguing. So double tonguing is, we got the normal t at the tip, right? Like we normally would ta, but we're not gonna say ta, t, k then you're gonna do a K. So you're gonna do, your tongue's gonna to be like a front and back thing. Um, I was able to see the other day, I actually shot this already, <laughs> but my mic unplugged, so all you heard was the microphone in my pocket. So anyway, you could see here, kind of like the tongue the tongue moving. So it'd be like ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka ta ka instead of just ta 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 You can see the tongue, you can even feel it too if you're doing it, ta ka ta ka You can feel the tongue doing this, because that is what it's doing, okay? When I learned double tonguing, um, I, had, I had two teachers telling me different things. One said to do tuku, 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 right? And then one told me to do kitty, 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 kitty. The book wants us to do literally the T and the K. Tuka, tuka, tuka. So we're gonna do it as the book wants, but on your own time, you can explore the difference between a few different things to see what they work. The concept's still the same where you're ta, k, where the tongue is working like this, hitting teeth, you know, the front towards the teeth, hitting towards the back, it's doing this. So you can do some experiments, you know, on your own time to see what works best and making sure it still sounds nice, it's still efficient, and that's the thing too, is we still have to make sure that our tone and sound is good as well. So let's go ahead, let's look at exercise number one here. Okay, we have two sharps in our key signature, common time. These are eighth notes, which a lot of times when you're double tonguing is more for sixteenths. Um, but this does help us kind of work into it. The tongue is a muscle and it must be worked. Okay, so keep that in mind too, that the tongue is a muscle, we're working it in a new way. So let's go ahead and give this a try, okay? Just eighth notes. Ready? So it's gonna go tu ku tu ku t. Rest. Tu ku tu ku tu. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four. Hopefully that was a good introductory pace there for you. When you're double tonguing, I always recommend using the metronome specifically more for these kind of exercises just to make sure that everything's, you know, there's a lot happening. So I, I recommend the metronome. So let's do the metronome now, okay? Uh, let's see, what about, where are we at? Okay, we went pretty slow. So. Let's actually speed this up. Let's do 70. Okay, ready? One, two. Whoa, I didn't start that. <laughs> Here we go. One, two, three, four. Good job, if you're not getting it, it's fine. You are gonna wanna take a little time to do it on your own. 
And what can help too is it really helps if you separate things out. So it may not be for this exercise, but maybe you're struggling with this with a different exercise is you can really break it down. So start it with single tonguing. Okay, then you know where your fingers are going, you're knowing your counts, you're comfortable with the way it sounds, and then all you're doing is changing the tonguing. When you do the tonguing separately, you can get that down too. Right, and then all you're doing is combining them after you're confident with the notes and the fingerings, and then you're confident with the tonguing, put them together, should be a lot smoother. All right, let's do this one more time. Let's speed it up though anyway. Let's try this at, let's try for 80, okay? Ready? Because we have 16s coming up, so we kind of need to be a little confident with these ones. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, excellent job. Let's go ahead and move on to exercise two now. Key signature still the same. The only thing is we're changing it over to 16th now, okay? Okay, <laughs> there's the eighth towards the end just for note. Okay, so let's also still start this with the metronome, okay? I'm gonna put us down to I think 60 should be fine. Let's do 60. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. All right, excellent job. There's going to be a time whether it's this exercise or the next one, where your tongue is going to, like it might feel fine now, but there's gonna be a point where it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And if you do, remember, like if you were double tonguing for a performance or a solo or whatever, keep on going, switch over to single tongue, catch up and then move back to double tonguing, okay? That's the way I suggest doing it because sometimes there's long, these long passages and there, you know, you might be like, whoa, 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 just slow down while you're still flying. Just single, go back to double when you ca catch a moment. All right. Anywho, carrying on. Let's move this up to, um, let's see if we can do it at 70. Let's see what 70 is like. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right, excellent job. I don't want us to be going too, too fast uh, since this is new for us. So let's just move it up to 75. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. All right, excellent job. Let's go ahead and take a look at exercise number three. You can see we have a lot more happening. We removed the rests, okay? So our tongue's gonna have to really kind of keep up with all those 16ths now. Let's go ahead and bring this back down to 60 and let's give it a try. There we go, 60. We still have the two sharps. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> messed up on my breathing there too. And I guess that's something we should talk about too is double tonguing and breathing. It may feel like because we're doing more that we're not watching our breathing. So 
And that's exactly what I did. I didn't pay attention to breathing. <laughs> I couldn't make it for the whole night. <laughs> All right, but I'm mainly focused on double tonguing today. Okay, let's go ahead and do this again. We're only gonna, we're, we'll do this at 65 now. Okay, just so we can get used to it. And you know, this area might have some areas where your tonguing is tripping over. So once again, like I said, if your tongue is tripping over itself, switch over to single tongue, get your composure, move back to double tonguing, okay? And the more you practice it, the more you can become consistent with it too. That won't be a forever thing, just, we're just learning it. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. I got the breathing better this time. All right, let's speed it up one more time. We'll do it up to 70, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and move on to exercise four, scale and chord etude, okay? Now we're gonna be moving a little bit more with our 16ths. Beforehand, we were doing a whole set of 16ths on the same note, and now we're changing them within the set, okay? So take a note that our key signature has changed. We now have one flat B flat, okay? Let's take this down back to 60. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So take note, there were a few eighths in there towards the end of those certain measures. Okay, so just kind of have to pay attention to that. All right, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's go for 65. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. Let's do it one more time, moving it up to 70. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Let's go ahead and move on to exercise five, articulation etude. So now you can see where there's the slurs. The book is saying to do tu, tu, k. Tu, 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 tu. Okay, so gets a little more challenging here. So this one might be one you wanna do uh, articulations 
separate from fingers and all that kind of stuff. But fortunately, we don't have time to do all of that. So we're gonna have to just jump right in. But remember, you can come back on your own time and work on those. So let's put us back down to 60. Two, tick, two, tick, two. Okay. And take note that our key signature has changed to one sharp now, back to an F sharp. All right, let's go ahead and put it at 55 since this takes a little more thinking power. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So this one definitely takes some practice. Two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two. Okay, and even if you need to bring it down to that speed, do so. And it can be a little confusing on that last line. Two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo, two, two, coo. You might really need to slow that section down too, just to get where it changes and with the articulation, it's kind of a lot there. All right, let's move this up to 60, see if we can do it. Let's go for it. Ready? One, two, three, messed up there at the end. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna kill us with that one, but do take time to practice that you will see those at some point and it will be much faster even. All of these will be much faster, so make sure you practice these. All right, let's take a look at exercise six, synchronizing with the fingers and tongue. We have a lot more moving around now. So this exercise is just to make sure we're moving together because if you get off, you're really going to hear it with the double tonguing and the fingers not in sync. You're really gonna hear it. So you need to make sure everything is together. With that, let's bring us back down to 55. Okay, we do have some regular double tonguing, as you can see, line two. We have a couple of the toot, toot, okay? So just making note. Let's go ahead and give this a try, ready? Oh, and our key signature has changed, no sharps, no flats. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. So at least the pattern is more of in a scale pattern. That helps. And then just watch at the end where it hits that double C and then moves up. Okay. Other than that, um, it should just be more of getting used to the double tonguing still. So let's go ahead. Let's speed this up a little bit. Let's do 60. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. This one also might be a good one to uh, do the fingerings and single tonguing, get it down, and do the double tonguing and the articulations on its own, and then combine them later. This might be a good one for that too. All right, let's do it one more time. Let's go for 65. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. Excellent job. This is tough stuff. Keep working on this. Practice it even faster, especially, yes, do it faster than what we did today because when you actually see these in real life, they are going to be faster. We're just getting started, so that's why we only went the speeds we went to today. All right, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know down in the comments. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like, notify, and subscribe so you don't miss any of our practices. Thanks for joining, and until next time. For more questions, comments, concerns, or even if you want feedback or to play games, make sure you join the Musicians Edition Flute Group. It's free to join and anyone can participate. We'll see you there. And while you're signing up for all sorts of goodies, don't forget to join our YouTube course. It's free, it has all these lessons, but a little bit more organized.